when I go camping, you know, I go for a month at a time or so, and I don't bring a uh, cooler with ice, and I don't have an electric cooler or any of that stuff. Uh, you know, ice only lasts a couple of days, and if you're only going to have it a couple of days, might as well not bring it at all, all right? But I'm going to teach you a little trick. If you don't have ice or cooler, I'm going to teach you how you can actually make drinks much cooler than you would think. Just by using something very simple that everyone will have in their campsite already. I guarantee it. All right, so Chig, just get on with it, all right? We're going to get on with it. I call it tube sock chilling. simple what you do and this is how i came up with this idea i actually came up with this on my own is when i was in the service i was in the army we had these things called lister bags and the old timers probably know what i'm talking about i don't know if the new guys do but they were just big canvas like sacks with open tops hold 50 gallons or something like that and they would just pour water in the top it was canvas so the water would like seep seep through the canvas and kind of evaporate and when water evaporates like that, it cools down what's inside. So it would cool down the water inside the Lister bag, just like our sweat cools down our body. Now, what I did is I put some drinks in these socks right here, not long ago. Pour all kinds of water on them. Set them out so they could get out in the uh, breezes and have a, have a chance to evaporate a little bit. And I also set out a, a uh, control, okay? So this is a uh, case of beer. And again, no ice. I just pulled these out of the truck, you know, probably about an hour ago, two hours ago. This is a can I just sat there. And we're going to put that right there. I'll put these cans in socks. And you could actually use, uh, you know, towels or shirts or whatever. It doesn't matter. Just something that would hold the water against it. You squeeze it out of the tube sock just like that. Hard to do with one hand. All right, so that's been sitting just out in the tube sock, wet tube sock. And this has been sitting by the truck. I can already tell you this one's much colder because I, I can feel it's colder. What we'll do is we'll just take the surface temperature using this. This is what I use to check temperatures on bearings and stuff like that. All right, so that's 70, 78. So if we shoot that one, it's going to be about 80, let's just call that 80, let's just call it 86 and a half. So, you know, we've got about, what, an 8 degree temperature change, which doesn't seem like much, but I can promise you this. That feels warm to the touch. That feels cold to the touch. <laughs> That's how much of a difference it is. <laughs> you just have to try it. I absolutely promise you, if you try it, you'll say it works if you watch this video you'll think it's just stupid and doesn't work but it's really a lot colder so that's enough for me we'll, we'll see you some other time if i make it through the night <laughs>